Okay, and right here I'm fixing to show you that was our most recent project that we're working on. We're restoring a 1930 AA Ford pickup truck. And uh, it's pretty much all original. And uh, I'll show it to you here in just a minute. So right here it is, the 1930 AA Ford pickup truck. There's one of the fenders that go to it. Right there's the door. Passenger side door. There's some miscellaneous pieces that go to it. Uh, so far what we've been working on which it wasn't really interesting, so I didn't video it. All this right here that had surface rust on it, sanded it off. Uh, up underneath here, that had surface rust on it, sanded it off, primed it today. This through here, then spots they had, didn't have a etching primer on it and sanded it to bare metal, so then that primer had to be sanded off because it didn't stick to the bare metal, so. Did that today, primered that in. Um, me and my grandfather, we've both been working on this project. It is our cousins, and uh, anyway, he'd been working on the inside of it, so he's he's been doing this in here around the edges, and then back in there, and then the backs of this part here, and uh. He's been working on the inside, and so far I've been working on the outside. Uh, this whole back, I just got done doing the primer and on it today. Uh, today is September the 29th. Um, when, when we got the truck from all the way to just about here, all the way down to here, it had Bondo in it all the way through here. So I had to go back and cut that out because the body shop that he had it at had took and put the Bondo right on top of the rust and didn't do no kind of treatment for the rust. And then you go in here and instead of them putting in the patch panels and either taking this piece and welding it back or onto the top of this, are either taking there's some kind of tool that you can use and it kind of makes a channel for this piece to fit in that you just go around the edge there and it'll make a channel and that piece fits in it and you just weld it up smooth they didn't do that so as you can see here they just took their piece and welded it on top of here so what I have in mind to do is go back grind that down Pretty much as smooth as I can get it down through there and then we'll go and just have to work all these spots out you can see there's some high spots beat them down and then smooth it up with some body filler but uh, anyway we've uh, my grandfather he started working on the hood that's what this piece is here for it um, the rust, what I was talking about, what you use to end up getting the rust to go away is um, this stuff here. As you can see on the rust, it's turning white and also it sometimes turns black. Um, if I can find the bottle, I'll show you, show you what the bottle looks like here in a minute. But anyways, he'd been working on that hood. And then here's the other side of it. So it's a slow go project, but it is getting somewhere. Our cousin, he had it in this body shop. I don't remember. I think it's been in it for two or three years. and They hadn't really made no progress on it. and He wanted us to do it. So we're going to end up uh, redoing it for him.
And that's pretty neat how they did the roof back in the day with all the wood work on it. I don't think I showed that a while ago. He's had the roof redone already. Uh, that's why we have it taped up when we did that primering. There's the dashboard of it. Transmission, pedals, all that good stuff. But it's an interesting little vehicle. Um, let me see, I think I just seen that. Rust killer. But this is what we spray on it. <clears throat> that's the name brand. The rust killer. And then that's what it does after you spray it on there. And how it kills the rust. It, um, it turns the rust into that powder. And then it says you can paint over the powder. Or you can scuff it. Usually I just go ahead and scuff it. And if that rust, if the rust killer ever gets on the paint it'll do it like that right there and you will have to scuff it because it's like gummy and uh, you primer or paint or whatever it won't stick to it when it's gummy like that but the plan the plan for the truck everything on the inside is going to be black he's going to do kick panels door panels and all that uh, seed I think he's doing a black interior on it also the outsides it'll be solid black from the top all the way down to the bottom the fenders and then what i mentioned to him and i think we're going to do as far as his steps right here and that's them that's them right there that's one of the original steps and then the other one is over on the other side but uh what we're going to do on them is do undercoating on them instead of painting them. Then that way, when you go go to end up standing to get up in the truck, you ain't going to have all that dirt and stuff all over your nice shiny steps. Well, like on this one, you won't have the dirt and stuff all over your shiny steps, and you'll have that undercoating, so you won't have to worry about scratching which this step here, it's on the wrong side. This step should be the passenger side step. And then uh, that one on the uh, frame there, that that's the one for the driver's side. And I'll show a, show a look at the motor on this side. But I just thought it was something interesting that I can do a video on. And I'll do uh, videos on it. As we go along, try to keep you updated on it. Oh, and on the on the bed, I think he's going to do a whole solid wood bed, flat bed on it. Um, I'm not really for sure exactly how he's going to do it. If he's if he's going to have like the, the flat bed down through here, and then the the railings come up and stuff, or if he's just going to do a wood flat bed on it but I think that's what he's got on his mind with it but, but anyways uh, that's the 1930 AA Ford truck stay tuned for more videos to come on the restoration on the thanks have a good day